Okay, so if you've got a iPad with a lightning connection, and this works the same for a phone, you can plug in the lightning to USB adapter. And in the case of this keyboard, I've got a little wireless dongle which comes with the keyboard, which allows it to talk to each other. Now, a lot of these uh, little dongles are too much power for the iPad, and so straight away it will reject and it won't let you use it. In the case of this, it works fine. The keyboard is powered by a couple of AA batteries, and you can see that I've got a mouse pointer. Uh, if I press the left mouse button, you can see I can move things around on the screen. It's like holding on to things. Uh, but also, there's various different shortcuts you've got. Uh, if I open up a web page, uh, so say for instance Safari here, uh, let's go to an ordinary web page, and if I use the arrow buttons, I can go up and down, but if I hold function, I can skip down much quicker. Uh, obviously you could drag the screen, but this is more about showing what the keyboard can do. Uh, other things that I found, switching between apps, if I press the tab, that goes back to the last used app, or in this case the home screen. So Windows and Tab, so if I keep flicking through it, you can see that I could select any one of those. So let's select music, uh, and I can then play some music. I can pause that music. You might not be able to hear this because the iPad is screen recording. I can also change the volume. So if I'm working and I want a bit of music in the background, I can do that. But then I can quite quickly switch back into whatever app I was using, back into Safari, uh, flick through the pages. So two fingers to scroll up. But I can also go into Google Docs and you can see I have a newsletter here. Uh, I can move around that document. I can select some text. So if I double tap uh, and hold with the left mouse button, you can see I can copy, paste, delete, uh, all sorts of different things. Uh, so you can be more productive. I think Google Docs doesn't make it super easy at the moment, um, but it is certainly, uh, it's getting there. Uh, and certainly if, you, if you're gonna type a lot, then that's gonna be good because you can type away and you can see that you can be quicker on a keyboard even if it is gibberish. So, Hot UK Deals, BBC Home, you can see I can flick through them. If I press the F5 button, I can search for an app. So say for instance, I want LumaFusion, which is my editing app. You can see I can use that. If I press the left mouse button, I can move things around. I'm not gonna do any editing on this, but you can see that various different functions will still work. Uh, I don't know, yeah, two fingers doesn't work up and down or left and right. So it's gonna be app dependent. So again, Windows and Tab to go back to something else that I was on. So for instance here, I've written down a few things that, uh, what they do. So Windows and one, two, three, four changes the tab. Uh, so basically if I go back to Safari, uh, and so for instance, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tabs open. So if I wanted seven, tab and seven, tab and eight, tab and nine so I can flick straight through to those. I wanna go back and have a look at that list and see what's on there. Uh, Windows and F is to find in page. So let's do that, Windows and F. Uh, and if I'm searching for Boris, for instance, you can see there's no matches for Boris, crikey. Uh, let's try that again then, Windows F and Brexit, must be Brexit. There you go, Brexit comes up. You can see there's four mentions of five on Brexit tap through and you can find where that appears on the page just using that left mouse button. Let's go back to notes uh, and see what else we've got. Windows and left or right cursor, pre right, previous or next web page. So if I go back to Safari and Windows left and Windows right goes forward and backwards within that web page, so that could become quite useful. Uh, space scroll down to next part of page. So, oh, that's good. So if you're reading, uh, it's like a page down option. Yeah, I'll definitely use that one. Uh, what else have I got? Uh, Windows and I email this page, really? Windows and I, oh, it's not that. Oh yeah, it is. There you go, so that, that emails the current page that you're on. So let's hit escape on that, delete draft. So I intuitively pressed the escape button and it came up, that was pretty good. Uh, you can see if you hold on the Windows key, it shows you more shortcuts. So F5 was search for an app. Uh, I think that's a particularly useful one.
So I'm trying to get used to uh, various different things and, and selecting text is a bit different. You, you seem to double tap and hold. Uh, so it's like a, a left click and hold. And you can see now I've got these little uh, options that I can grab and make that wider. So I can select the text. I can do all sorts of options with that and cut and paste it. So that's pretty good as well. You can see I can flick through the pages. Um, but uh, but yeah, I, I was impressed that, that it certainly that it worked with this device and the mouse and keyboard combo. So for certain things, if I'm if I'm writing down a load of notes, uh, I think that's going to be handy to be able to use a mouse and keyboard. Also, what I found is if you right click, it comes up with this uh, assistive touch menu, uh, and you can go between open apps in the different way. So you can have the big apps come up, and then you can click on that. But also, you can screenshot what you've got. You can go to the home page. Uh, you can also call up Control Center, so you'll see that I'm screen recording at the moment, and you can use anything in Control Center with mouse and keyboard as well. And you can also lock the screen, so turn the device off. But this is customizable, uh, and you can add more and more things onto there uh, that maybe would be something nice to have with your right-click option. So if I do that and go to Home, there you go, and then Windows Tab, and Windows tab, and then you can flick through, go back to the home screen. So you can see from the keyboard what it's like. Uh, what's quite handy is if I undo this, I've got a little bit that I can put this dongle into. So the dongle actually fits into there. So if you're carrying it around, you're not gonna lose the dongle, uh, which is quite a useful feature. Comes with a set of AA batteries, and I'm pressing keys as I'm doing this. So let's flip that back up. Um, and there are some other options on there that you can go through. Uh, there are a few different things that I've probably missed out, but uh, I think I've covered the main bit. Uh, I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.